Hi, I'm Sylvon. I'm from Medical X. Today I will show you our high fidelity baby simulator, the Nena Sim Extreme. So, as you can see here, this is the baby simulator. The Extreme package comes with the baby, and also it comes with our stethoscope simulator, the charger cable for the stethoscope simulator, the charger for the baby simulator. And also we have an I.O. lag. This is to train intraosseous injection. And we have an umbilical cord. All of this come with a nice suitcase. So the Nenasim baby simulator is connected with the Wi-Fi connection of the computer. With our Command X software you can control the baby simulator. What I'm going to do now is first I will explain to you all the functionalities of the baby simulator. And then afterwards I will go into the software and show you the functionalities, what you can do with the software and how to control the baby. So what does the baby have? It has a fontanelle and the fontanelle can have a pulse. So when you touch it you can feel the pulse and it is synchronized with the heart rate. The fontanelle can be abnormal, so we can have a bulging fontanelle and we can have a sunken fontanelle. And then we have the eyes of the baby. They can blink and they can close and they can be opened. Also the blinking rate can be changed. So it can blink fast or it can blink slow. You can also open the eyelids with your hands. And when you shine a light on it, the pupils can constrict or dilate, depending on whether there is light shining on it. And then we also have a realistic airway. The airway has all the landmarks of the realistic anatomy. So you can see the epiglottis, the trachea, the esophagus and the focal cords as well. And when you do incorrect intubation, you will inflate the stomach, which you can see on the simulator. Besides oral intubation, you can also do nasal intubation and also you can give heart massage. And the software will give you feedback on the quality of the heart massage. For example, you will see the depth, frequency of the heart massage and the number of compressions. And also the ventilation is recorded. When you ventilate, you will see the chest rise. Depending on the software settings, you can also simulate pneumothorax where you have unilateral chest rise when ventilating the simulator. The baby can also breathe spontaneously. It can breathe on the chest, it can also breathe on the belly. It can also simulate retractions like seesaw breathing. The Nena Sim has movements. It can move its neck back and forth. It can move its arms and legs. We use that to simulate seizure as well. Next to the movements, the simulator also has pulses. It was explained already, it has pulses in the fontanelle. It also has pulses in the arms, brachial pulses bilaterally on both sides. It has femoral pulses on both sides. And when you train the baby to be a newborn baby, you can attach an umbilical cord to the belly button. When it is attached, there is a pulse here as well. The umbilical cord can be catheterized. There are some veins inside, so you can catheterize it and you can inject it with fluids. On the chest, it is possible to do needle decompression on both sides. On the right side, you can insert a chest tube. This is a disposable part. There is a sensor behind it as well. So when the chest tube is detected, it will be recognized by the software. I already explained in the package that we have an I.O. lag. This I.O. lag can be strapped around the left or right leg to perform intraosseous injection. This is a disposable part as well. The Nenasim can also simulate cyanosis. You will see the color change around the cheeks the hands and feet. 
Besides cyanosis, it can also simulate yellow for jaundice, red like it has a fever, or white to make it look pale. Finally, it is possible to use the stethoscope simulator to listen to the heart sounds, lung sounds and bowel sounds of the baby. There are several positions on the baby where you can listen to the sounds. For example, on the stomach, left and right to the heart, in the middle, on the sides and the back of the baby. So, the Nana Sim can run at least 4 hours when it is fully charged. As you can see, the Nana Sim is operated completely wireless and tetherless. These are all the functionalities of the hardware of the baby simulator. And in the next part, I will show you how it works with the software. This is the Command X software. And with this software, you can control the Nana Sim baby simulator. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to give you an overview of uh, the main functionalities of the software. So in order to start a scenario, you can click here and you can select a, a pre-recorded scenario or with load scenario, you can also load a, a customized scenario. So if I load a scenario like this, then this will be the screen where you can see to, that you can control the scenario. On the left side here, this is the different states of the scenario, which summarized all the actions that need to be taken on this scenario. Uh, here in the middle, you can see the log file. Every action that is taken and done is logged here. And you can also add comments here as well. So you can type in something like, uh, well done. You can give it a, a, a normal command or you can add it as an important command. Next to the lock tab, here we can also see a 3D mannequin depiction. And with this mannequin, you can also see what's action, what kind of action is taken on this mannequin. And then down here, you can see uh, different icons. All heart related parameters can be controlled from here. And then you can control lung related parameters from here, control movements from here, um, change numeric values from here, uh, select different stethoscope sounds from here, like lung sounds, heart sounds, bowel sounds. This one you can use to change the waveforms of the patient monitor. And this button, you will be able to select all symptoms. And this one is you can make a selection of favorites or bookmarked. And then you can show them here. This is how the patient monitor look like. On the upper right side, when I run the simulation, you can see that the patient monitor will run here as well. And you can also choose different display for the monitor. But also, uh, you can change the values of the monitor here as well. By using normal mode, clicking here, then this will start blinking and you can change the values here also. Also, what we have are useful sliders. So you can change the vitals quickly and easily. And this part is to see the quality of the CPR. You can see here the trend lines and this one is to control the voice sound. After you're finished with the scenario, you can do debriefing as well. And debriefing um, is saved here. And all the training that you have done, you can save them locally on the computer or you can also delete them. And when you do a debriefing, for example, then you can look back the scenario that you have trained. Uh, with the patient monitor, you can also open a monitor that, um, that the, the student will see. So when you're running the, the monitor, 
and you will be able to see the student monitor will see this. Uh, beside the patient monitor, we also have a scenario editor, so you can create your own scenarios. And the auscultation client is to be able to see that the NENA has detected the stethoscope when you're doing auscultation. And then finally, with our software, it's also possible to connect up to three webcams, so you can record the whole training for the debriefing purposes. So, this was the demonstration of our Nena Sim Extreme Baby Simulator. I hope that you liked the demonstration and if you have any questions, just let us know and I hope to see you next time.